Hello, my name is Laszlo and I would like to show you how you can easily create add-ons for Headshop DAWs Studio plugin. First of, what is a Headshop add-on? With the recent new architecture of the popular Photo to 3D software, artists now can easily create their own libraries, either for self-use or to sell as commercial product. Here's what an add-on does. Launch DAWs Studio and load Genesis 8.1 base mail figure. From the edit menu we launch Headshop 14. After selecting face and lips for textures and chin for geometry, Headshop launches. You load a photo in the frame. Headshop automatically finds 50 points of the face and also auto selects the gender. On the Headshop work screen you see the original photo on the left side and the newly created 3D head on the right. On top you see 6 tabs. We focus on Auto Sculpt to demonstrate the different add-ons. The currently loaded add-ons are listed in the pull-down menu but also appear as buttons. See what they do. Open increases we see 6 icons to choose from. Clicking on an icon we can apply the crease at various degrees via the slider. Let's try cliff chin. We can better see the changes if we switch to BW view via the nav cross. Next we try hollow cheek. Noses work similarly. Let's try knob nose and hawk nose. Have you noticed that some humans slightly resemble certain animal types? With human we can add a hint of that animal character. Let's go with pig face, switch back to color and export our work. On export head shops closes and transfer shape and texture back to DAWS Studio. So that is what add-ons do in head shop. In this part I will explain the easy steps to create a new set of add-ons. You really only need DAWs Studio, but to see your work, and use some of the morphs, you may also add Headshop 14.1. There are endless possibilities. For this demo we show how to create a warrior set for Headshop. In DAWs Studio we open the gen8man.do file that is included in the SDK. Since we will produce 6 different heads in quick succession, best is to set up studio for the task. In the render settings tab we select custom size and turn of constraint proportions. We set our active view to 416 by 334. We choose to import many of the existing morphs already in the library to allow a good mix and match experience. You will find these via edit slash morph loader pro and head shop plugin slash models slash morphing slash genesis 8.1 slash man. Open and batch load all. You can find all these morphs under parameters slash morphs.
So, let's give our fresh recruit youthful features and stick out ears. Now we need to export two things for our first character, an obj file and a jpg file. Let's export obj via file slash export. Name both private. We created a new folder for the characters and named it warriors. Next we create a jpg render, 416 by 334, and also save it in the same folder. On to the next character, the general. We reset all morph values to original and start fresh. We add several decades to his face, as well as some fat, he's been at a pentagon desk job for the last 20 years. We choose flabby cheeks, several creases for added experience. Finally, as an old warrior, he deserves a hint of a lion. Now same routine, export obj into the same folder and then also make a jpg and save it, too. After we finished all six characters, General, Colonel, Captain, Lieutenant, Sergeant, and Private, we add the JSON file from the SDK. This step is critical. We open the JSON file with a text editor, such as Notepad and carefully rename the six characters. CAUTION! Any small mistake, a misplaced return or comma can ruin the file. Once we finished, we can test by copying the entire folder, here called Warriors, into Headshot Plugin slash Models slash Morphing slash Genesis 8.1 slash Man. Test time. Load a fresh Gen 8.1 mail on stage and launch head shop as before. Wow. The new folder is added and on clicking on it we see our newly created dialog. After playing with a few characters we make our choice and select export.
Head shop closes and transfer shape and texture to DAWS Studio. We can still fine tune our head and set to render.